Hello students, it's Dr. Wade, the superintendent-elect of Lexington School District 2. I have in my hand here a book called The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. It was recommended to me by one of my colleagues, Kathy Jones Stork. And the whole story about The Dot is really about how you are able to kind of leave your own mark and really be able to go out and help others. And I think it's something that you will see as we read throughout the whole story. But there's a very special day coming up on September 15th, and it's called International Dot Day. So felt it was very important that we'd be able to read this to you. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. I don't think she really likes art class. Vashti teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah! A polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. I apologize, these pages are sticking together. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. I love how she... Wow, she's still a little bit angry as, as the name's being written. The next week, when Bashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. That's a pretty fancy frame. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Bashi painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow, and she discovered that she could make a green dot. Bashi kept experimenting lots of little dots in many colors. I think she's starting to like it. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Bashi splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. And Bashi even made a dot by not painting a dot. As you can see, she's just painting around a white center, so it kind of looks like a And at the school art show, a few weeks later, Bashi's many dots make quite a splash. See? Look at how much everyone seems to like her work. Bashi noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. Does that sound familiar? Like Bashi in the beginning of the story? I bet you can, said Bashi. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Bashi smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Does this look familiar? It's like Bashi became the teacher. Bashi stared at the boy squiggle, and then she said, what do you think she said? Sign it. And that's the end of the story. I hope you really enjoyed it. And remember, September 15th is International Dot Day. Please go out there as the amazing Lexington 
to school uh, students that you are. Go out there and make your own mark and please help one another and always be kind.